Now on TVS, the return of our weekly arts magazine, Artbeat. What an introduction. Yes, the King's Singers are with us for the first programme of this new series of Artbeat. This is the weekly magazine that embraces every conceivable kind of artistic activity in the South. For instance, tonight we've got the Kent Youth Percussion Ensemble wielding various sticks on various percussion instruments. Have you heard of the Arts Work Project yet? The chances are that you have if you're at school or college in the TVS region. Since January, Artswork has been highlighting every aspect of artistic activity amongst young people and encouraging others to take part. There have been Artswork weeks, weekends and festivals all over the place. And in July, there's a final big Artswork festival in Southampton which will feature representative work from across ten counties. The Kent Youth Percussion Ensemble is one of thousands of groups involved. We caught up with them preparing for a run-through of a new piece called Time Lords by Tony Hooper. <laughs> Being in Kaipi, uh, there are only seven of, us, seven of us, we're all very good friends, we all know each other, we've known each other for a long time. Um, it's something different to, to playing in orchestras, obviously. We usually play lots of exciting music. Okay. It's a great ensemble, it's great playing in a team and being like a family. There's something very satisfying about playing in a group, and especially in our particular group because we mostly play unconducted music. And so it's very satisfying to have a group who can blend together and can just play as one. This is a piece called Time Lords by Tony Hooper. And basically what he does is experiment with time signatures and rhythms and the different percussive sounds of the ensemble. And we're all playing different instruments through sort of interweaving. So rather than a twitty section like violins or something, we're all playing individual parts and it's quite important. There's only one side drum in the orchestra, there's only one pair of cymbals usually in the orchestra. So if you make a mistake, everyone knows you made the mistake. And so it, you, it's real concentration, you have to concentrate all the time. And that's perhaps why it's more exciting, because if you're part of the violin section, you know, sometimes you could sort of, oh, you know, not too, nobody's going to notice if I muck this bit up. But you really have to get it right. There's no sort of, oh, let's follow the leader. You have to count every bar. It's exciting, it's noisy. I used to, when I was young, I used to like the noise. I used to go and watch concerts and be impressed by all this noise that was coming from the section. And it's, it's different as well.
That was the Kent Youth Percussion Ensemble, or Kaipi for short, performing Time Lords, written incidentally by the brother of Kaipi's musical director, who's Sean Hooper. In a couple of minutes, the King Singers with a superb Beatles arrangement. <laughs> That's it for our first week. Next Thursday, I'll be in Brighton for the Brighton Festival. So I hope to see you there.